there's a technical aspect of astrophotography stacking and editing in Affinity Photo that I would like to clarify. Astrophotography workflows place an emphasis on working with linear data. Straight away, I want to point out that Affinity Photo can work purely in a linear color space, from the initial stacking right through to final retouching. There are, however, a couple of behaviors that may give users the impression that Photo isn't working with linear data, so I'm going to clarify those. The first is during initial stacking. Even when adding linear data, the view on screen appears to be nonlinear or gamma corrected. This is because behind the scenes, with the layer stack that is not exposed to the user when stacking, Affinity Photo is adding non destructive levels and curves adjustments on top of this data in order to gamma correct and tone shape it. This is done so the user can better visualize the data. The actual pixel values of the data remain linear. However, when the stack has completed and you move to the main photo persona, you will be able to see these two adjustment layers in the layer stack and they will be providing some initial tone stretching. You can, however, hide or delete these layers if you wish to use another tone stretching approach. The second behavior is present both during stacking and when you have moved back to the main photo persona for further editing. Affinity Photo composites astrophotography data in 32-bit unbounded floating point precision with a linear color space. This can be verified by checking up here when you have the view tool selected. Even if you hide the levels and curves adjustments, however, the view on screen appears to be non-linear. This is because a gamma corrected view transform is being applied at the presentation stage. You can disable this by going to Window, 32-bit Preview then switching Display Transform from ICC Display Transform to Unmanaged. This means the document view is no longer being color managed by the document profile, which defaults to linear sRGB. Unmanaged is effectively the linear light view, or scene referred, as opposed to display referred. I would, however, recommend that you switch back to ICC Display Transform. The reason this option is set by default is so that your work will look consistent when you finally go to export it using File Export. You will typically export to a gamma encoded format such as 8-bit JPEG or 16-bit TIFF. Matching this gamma corrected view whilst editing in 32-bit linear color space means that you can simply work without having to be concerned about your final result looking different when it is exported. However, any compositing that occurs in the layer stack remains completely linear. If you are using external plugins that expect linear data pre-tone stretch, you can pass either the single stacked layer if you are working with one-shot color data, or you can color map your mono data layers and composite them together using the Add Blend mode. Then go to Layer, Merge Visible, and pass this merged pixel layer to the plugin. I hope this video has cleared up any uncertainty about Affinity Photo's handling of linear data, and thank you for watching.